Okay. Okay, we're going to come off of this breaker box here. We're going to take out a 30 amp double pole breaker that's not being used. Can you look in the camera and see if you can see me? Oh, sure. Perfecto. Good. You're totally centered. Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's this 220 line we're going to be just... Connecting, it's going to be this red and black here, so we'll shut that off. We'll unhook our red and black. And we'll take this down off camera here. Okay, I'm ready for you to uh, feed the wire to me from that hole over here. Okay, my friend is going to be passing the wire through the hole here. And we're going to use staples here. We're going to staple it up. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, come to the other one over here. Over here. This one. Come through that one. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Academy Award winning. Good. You want to kind of run that wire over to where it's going to go and it's going to yeah. be long enough? Yeah, I think it's going to be playing well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you need to get a bigger one. Okay. 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 We're going to put our wire into the pan over right here.
enjoy doing electrical wiring for this landlord. He has a very good reputation around town for uh, taking care of his tenants and maintaining his buildings. And it's a joy to help him out making some videos. And we enjoy the spaghetti dinners at the Baptist Church the last Monday of every month. Right? That's right. So here in the country I was born in, we use 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. In this case here, the black is live, the white is the neutral, and the spare wire is the ground. And since this is a main panel, you can have your ground and neutral on the same bus bar. Because this is where they all tie in together. But if it's a sub panel, you have to keep your grounds and neutrals separate. So I put all our debris out. And now we'll run one wire at a time over. So we'll bring our ground wire up the back and we'll go up. We'll come across the top here. We'll come down and we'll go right in here. So we put the ground on this neutral bar here. Make sure it's tight. And we'll pull this, I'll pull that out in a bit. We'll bring our white wire up. We'll go into our corner here, come up, and bring it straight across, come down, and we'll go in right here. We don't get our insulation caught under the screw head. Can you see what I'm doing in there? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Good. Center, you're right at the focal point. Good. Right. Make sure the wires are back out of the way mm -hmm. of the cover screws here because you don't want to hit the wires with the cover screws. So now we'll take our 30 amp double pull breaker out because you only use number 10 with a 30 amp. And we'll stick in our single pull 20 amp. We're going to be running another circuit probably tomorrow or Saturday and we'll put our second one in here. Now this is our black wire which is live so we'll do the same thing. We'll come up to our corner, bring it over, come down. Now I'll make my bend about right here. Make sure it's straight here. Make sure I go in like that. And I'll come over like this. I want it to be straight. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it about right here. with our number 12 hole. Make sure it's off. We'll stick our wire into our hole there. Make sure we don't get our 
insulation caught under the uh, terminal. Tighten it with our Robertson tube driver here. Make sure it's tight. Now we'll just straighten our wire out so it's going the direction we want it, so it's nice and neat here. See how it's all nice and neat? You want it nice and straight. And our cover screws aren't going to hit the wires. So that is how we hook our new wire in. So I'll do a little stapling. Okay, I'm going to come around and move the camera up this way. Okay, I'm going to... There it is. Does that bell work, do you think? What? I don't know what it's for exactly. It's an old fire alarm. Yeah, seriously? I think that's what it is, yeah. Not really old, but one that was put in earlier. I'm thinking maybe 30 years ago, maybe.